So, what is the best public university in Ghana? Today is the day we finally know. We are going to be considering three universities. The University of Ghana, KNUST, UCC, and UEW. We are going to use three categories to rate these universities and pick a winner. And the winner will shock you. These categories are the facilities of the university, its academic performance, and involvement in extracurricular activities. If they do excellent in a particular category, they get three points. Two points if average, and if not impressive, they get a point. The university with the highest points combined wins. Watch till the end to see who ranks first. And trust me, it is not what you are thinking. Let's get into it. First off, the University of Ghana. It's one of the most prestigious universities in the country as it's Ghana's main university. The 74-year-old school has four campuses, one in Legon, one in Kolebu, Accra City Campus, and the distance education campuses spread across the nation. For the location of the main campus, it's situated right along the west view of Accra. On the main campus, you'll find facilities like the Baum Library, an impressive number of lecture halls, four colleges, and five faculties outside these colleges. They also have an international programs office that handles universities' international efforts. As for student accommodation, there are about 14 different halls on campus. There are also private hostels around. For academic performance, as per Times Higher Education Rating, which assesses universities' performance based on teaching, research, citations, and others, ranks University of Ghana second on the list. The recent Webometrics 2022 ranking, which focuses on quality of education and academic prestige, also places University of Ghana as number one in Ghana. The university's involvement in extracurricular activities is outstanding. They host various top-notch artists, and celebrities on their SRC and Hall Week celebrations. They host and partake in sports, both internal and inter-schools, and have love for music and arts. Although they have hosted GUSA games for about 11 years, their performance is not that stellar compared to other schools. Even with the recent 2020 GUSA games, which they hosted, they came out fourth. Stick to the end to see who usually tops the other universities. Now for the scores. They have quite an impressive number of facilities, but student accommodation can sometimes be a headache, so they get two points in that aspect. They were second in academic performance, which is quite impressive, so they earned three points there. Massive involvement but low performance in extracurricular activities, mostly sports, also earns them 2 points, making a total of 7 points. Now to KNUST. This public university is the largest in the Ashanti region. It's one of the few institutions with a king, the Asantehene King Osei Titi II, as the chancellor of the establishment. Administration on the main campus, a modern main library called Prempe the Second Library, sports facilities, a number of lecture halls, about six traditional halls, and a mind-blowing number of private hostels right around the university campus to cater for both local and international students accommodation. For academic performance, you'll be shocked. KNUST was first university in West Africa to have won the prestigious Pan-African University Debate Championship three consecutive times. It's also the first university in Ghana to have won the Philip J. Soup International Moot Court Competition. It was also ranked by Times Higher Education as the third university in Ghana relating to academics. In the extracurricular activities section, they also do pretty well. Their NBA team won a couple of games against international teams. All this in preparation towards the GUSA Games 2020 to be held on the KNUST campus. They placed fifth in the 2020 GUSA Games. When it comes to these games, they barely have an upper hand. And to be frank, University of Ghana's teams perform better. They also engage in various fun and mind-relieving activities like various whole week celebrations, just like any university. Now to the point, their infrastructure and facilities is quite impressive and is also quite adequate for the students so they earn three points their performance in academics is quite stellar and they earn three points there performance in extracurricular activities is quite on the low side so they earn two points making a total of eight points now this is where things get interesting be sure to watch till the end to see how the other two universities will compete for the first position next 
we have UAW. This is one of the most underrated tertiary institutions in the country. This 30-year-old institution is mainly tasked with the responsibility to produce professional educators, whether teachers or lecturers, into the education sector of the country. The institution has six campuses all over the country, three at Winneba, where the central administration is located, one at Ejumako and the other two in the Ashanti region. In total, it has six faculties, one institute, and two centers that provide programs in various fields of study. UEW also provides the necessary academic and non-academic facilities to students, including various libraries and housing. They have about 10 halls and quite a number of hostels on campus, which, for the number of students, is pretty good. They also have sports facilities and financial aid and other helpful services, although best of their infrastructure are still under construction. For academic performance, they weren't ranked by the Times Higher Education. They were, however, ranked with Webometrics as number five in the country. Their performance is fairly on average with other universities in the country. Again, considering the fact that their job is to mostly raise upcoming teachers, their performance will no doubt be exceptional to equip the various educators with the necessary knowledge and skill. UEW partakes frequently in extracurricular activities, whether internal or inter-universities. They performed so well in sports. In 2016, they won the fifth place at the African University Games, beating about 30 universities. In 2020, they set new records at the GUSA Games held at the University of Ghana, Legon, which they placed second. They also teach music and arts intensively, which make for great outdoor performances. They also host artists every once in a while, just like every other university. Now to the scores, they have the basic facilities needed for carrying normal school activities but they don't have a so impressive number of these facilities as most of the amazing ones are under construction so they earn one point for their academic performance they perform on average with some universities as per various rankings so they earn two points for academics for extracurricular activities they earn straight three points for their outstanding participation and performance in these activities summing up to a total of seven points now to the last university, UCC. University of Competitive Choice, as it's usually known in Ghana, is one of the few universities in the world to have an overlooking view of the ocean. The campus sits on a hill in the capital city of the central region of Ghana, Cape Coast. The main campus is divided into the northern campus, usually called New Site, and southern campus, usually called Old Site but it's still on the same area. The campus has a number of facilities like the Samjona Library and other departments and hall libraries. Over 10 halls and a lot of private hostels around, which is more than enough to accommodate the student population. The school has facilities to support sporting activities, over six large lecture theaters with a number of sizable lecture rooms in each lecture hall and a number of departmental offices as well as a central administration. The school is organized into six colleges with different faculties, schools and departments in each college. For academic performance, as per Times Higher Education, they were ranked as number one in the whole country and in West Africa. It was also ranked as the number one university in the whole of Africa for research influence. The beach is also a nice addition to the relaxation center. The university's involvement in extracurricular activities is very, very impressive when it comes to sporting activities. UCC has dominated the Busa Games with 9 total overall wins since 2012. They won the mini Busa title from 2012 to 2015 consecutively and won the main Busa Games from 2016 to 2020 again consecutively. It's just mind-blowing. With their recent victory in 2020 earning them 64 medals overall, their performance is jaw-dropping. Now to the scores. They have a very impressive number of facilities and student accommodation is not a problem at all, thereby earning itself three points. The school also performs so well in academics, earning them three points. Again, their performance in extracurricular activities is also very impressive, earning them three points, making a total of nine points. So looking at all the statistics, the best university in Ghana is UCC followed by KNUST and then University of Ghana. 
It should be noted that the facilities were considering the ease of students in acquiring accommodation. The academics were mainly based on rankings like the Times, Higher Education and others. And the extracurricular activities were mainly based on the GUSA games, as every university hosts various celebrities and artists. So note, the list isn't fixed, it can change at any time. Thanks for watching.